All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. In the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, this is Pagai Yahweh, Banashar. Coming at you with another video. All right, and what you see here is a picture that the brother Mathatwa from HOD, House of David, took on his trip to to um the Levant region and this picture specifically and the pictures that I'm about to show are from the land of Edom man the land of of uh, uh, Basra where the Edomites dwelt right and I'm bringing this out to show that Esau Edom in fact is the white man which has been proven several times right and, and um Several pr brothers from several camps have have gone into this and proven this through the spirit with the scriptures, right? Which you have, you know, color scriptures, and then you have the more important and even more um, damning and more evident prophetic scriptures that point to who Esau is, right? You have in, in my my the camp that I'm a part of, the school that I'm a part of, particularly um, the Sakari, Deacon Aka, the elders Deacon Aka, and um, Chief Priest Alazar Ben Loya have dealt with this situation, this topic, several times, and debated several people on this topic, huh? right? And, and have come out, you know, proving that of course Esau is the so-called white man, the Arab, the not the Arab, right? Esau is the so-called European, so-called Caucasian, and they've done it with the scriptures, they've done it with um, archaeology and history. But here's some more damning archaeology just to prove once again you know put some some more nails in that coffin that Esau is the so-called white man all right um so yeah this is the brother El Matatwa Facebook post on his trip over to Edom Basra and these are the pictures that he took of the archaeology that was in there all right and this is clearly a so-called white man I mean look at the nose all right Look at this guy's face, man. This guy's this is a this is a so-called white man to the T. Alright, and there's more. Alright, so here's another one. Alright. You can tell me that's an Arab? Come on, bro. Alright. Another white man. This is perfect. This is a perfect picture. Alright, here's some commentary on it. Alright, it says the first people in Jordan. The hurt first human migrations out of Africa reached Jordan around 1.5 million years ago. Some stayed while others continued their way to Asia and Europe. The people of Paleolithic moved in small groups, hunting animals, gathering plants for the food for their food. They lived in caves, but also had open air camps. So the scriptures speak about this, man. This image. This image is in the scriptures, man. And it's dealing with Esau even. All right, so let's just get that real quick. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 1. It says, But now they that were younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. And that's a so called white man. All right, you know, Job didn't even want to leave these Edomites with his, with his, um, with the dogs of his flock. Man, right? it's a known, it's a, it's a known thing that. These Edomites like to have sex and sexual relations relations with animals, man. Right? It says, Yea, where too might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old ages perish? For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Right? Like we read. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as a thief. Right? And they were driven forth from among men. Why? Because they had that mark, man, that lack of pigmentation, which, which showed that they were, they, were, they were wicked, man. You know, that there was something wrong with these people. Because everybody else has the melanin. Everybody else has pigmentation. But these people, the Lord smit them with, with the lack of that. You know? As a mark to show who the wicked on the earth are. Okay? And it says, um, to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys and in caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. Right, so now going back to the pictures, 
right? Here they are, nettled by the bushes, braying by the bushes, right? And even better, what does the scripture just say? To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys and in the caves of the earth and in the rocks, right? And this is, this is in the land of Edom, Basra. Dwelling in the caves, man, all right? This is, this is how Esau was living, all right? See that? A little castle in the caves, man, all right? 100% scriptural, all right? So, yeah, man, you know, just another dagger, another nail in the coffin, on these um, Esau is the Arab guys, man. That doctrine needs to be put to, to the rest, man. Because it's evident and it's clear through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The truth, man. That these so-called white people are the Edomites. Alright? And, and and the brothers in Dallas um, were chief... Were, no, not Dallas. Um, Salakia in Atlanta. Where Chief Priest Al-Azhar is, is and um, Hassad. Priest Hassad. They just put out a video of the so-called white man is now teaching also that Esau is the Arab, man. You know? And I don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't understand why you coons want to... Well, I, I understand it because y'all are coons. That's why y'all want to save the so-called white man. But I don't blame the white man for teaching that Esau is the Arab, right? Because the Lord has judgments written for Esau, man. All right? Let's get that real quick. All right, this is the book of Obadiah. I'm just going to get right to the point. All right, this is um, Obadiah verse 8. Shall I not in that day, saith Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and, and understanding out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O T men, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. All right, so... When you read things like this, look, I can understand why coons that love the so-called white man would fight tooth and nail to make uh, anybody else but the white man Esau, right? Because your slave master, your daddy, your mammy, your pappy, boss, you know what I'm saying? Every single one of them is going to get cut off by slaughter, man. You know, and I don't blame the so-called white man for denying being Edom, being Edom Esau, man. Because this is the judgment that is written, man. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, the Lord has given the understanding to the to the to the babes, man. Of who is Esau. First and foremost, through the scriptures, right? Like I said, color scriptures. You know that surface, that milk scriptures, the color scriptures, Genesis twenty-five, where it says he came out red. When you eat them, are the only people that come out red when you're born. All right, the Arab man comes out with melon. It doesn't come out red, right? Then you got the more prophetic scriptures in the book of uh, Ezra's where it says Esau is the end of the world, right? Okay. Let me read this again. It says, uh, verse 9, And the mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. All right. There's another one on here. This is of, um, Obadiah, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. All right? So this is what's going to end up happening in the end times, man. All right? This is eschatology, man. End time prophecy. It says the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So you coons can coon out all you want, man. The Lord is putting the Spirit on, 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 on 144,000 men. And they're going to be on fire in that day, man. They're going to be a flame. And what are they going to do? And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh has spoken. All right? So these 144,000 uh, elect men of Israel, men that aren't coons, man, men that want, men that want to serve Yahweh Hashem Shai, are going to be on fire and are going to devour and destroy and slaughter every single Edomite. All right? This is what's written. For Yahweh has spoken it. Just like we just read, man. 
So it's good. It's gonna happen. I don't. And like I said, I don't blame you guys for hiding from that, trying to run away from that. But ultimately, it's coming, man. The Lord's word does not come out, come back void to him. Okay. And here's the proof of who Esau Edom is, man. Right. More proof, because there's already insurmountable proof in the scriptures. But here's just some more proof, man. Archaeology for you, man. A lot of people, the scriptures aren't enough. You know what I'm saying? But here's archaeology. You know? Pictures of these, of, Edo, of, of Edomites in Edom, in Basra. Clearly white men, right? Pictures of Edomites braiding in the bushes. Pictures of Edomites living in caves, right? Everybody knows the so-called white man is the original caveman. Okay? And the scriptures speak about the archaeology helping Israel, man. Get that. I already have it. Alright. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 16. It says, And the earth helped the woman, and the, and the earth opened her mouth. And how is the, the earth helping the woman? The woman being Israel. Right? Throughout the scriptures, Israel is described as a woman. Okay? And how is the earth helping the woman? By, by giving us these, these various um, archaeological finds, historical finds, right? First and foremost, to help improve that we're the children of Israel, right? You got the Chief Joseph Stone. You got, um, you got um, historical evidence that, that um, in, in Africa, certain brothers were wearing the, Levit the Levitical breastplate, you know? Several, a whole multitude of, of, of artifacts in, in um in the Americas, dealing with the pre, pre uh, um, Mesoamerican people, indigenous people of the Americas, so-called, the Northern Kingdom, having a lot of archaeology proving that they're the Israelites. This is what the scripture is dealing with first and foremost. But what it's also helping us to what prove that we have the truth in this subject that we're talking about right now, Esau being the so-called white man. The earth is helping us. Right? The scriptures, of course, are helping us, and scriptures is all we need. But the earth is helping us substantiate and prove that we have the truth in this subject, man. And that Esau is the so-called white man. All right? But with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.